Saint Doinwen is the Welsh equivalent of Saint Valentine. On the 25th of January, it is customary to celebrate all things love, just as you would on Saint Valentine's Day. Saint Doinwen is now the patron saint of lovers, whose origins begin in the 5th century. She grew up in what is now known as the Brecon Beacons National Park. She was the daughter of a legendary king named Brecha Brecheniog. King Brecha was the ruler of Brecheniog, which is known as Breconshire. Therefore, Doinwen started her life as a princess. And according to legend, she was the prettiest of all 24 of King Brechan's daughters. Doinwen fell in love with a man whose name was Mylon da Fodrech, who also fell in love with her. However, her father had other plans for her. He had arranged for Doinwen to marry another prince. Both Mylon and Doinwen were heartbroken and devastated with this arrangement. Stricken with grief, Doinwen ran into the woods, weeping and despairing. In her despair, she prayed to God and asked for his help. In an answer to her desperate pleas, an angel appeared, bringing with them a magical potion. This potion would erase all memory of Mylon, but would also turn him to ice. However, God also granted her three wishes. The first was to have Mylon thawed out and brought back to life. The second wish was for God to always help true lovers. And thirdly and finally, she wished to never marry. God granted her all three wishes and in return, as an act of gratitude, Doinwen dedicated the rest of her life to becoming a nun. Eventually, she left Brecon and travelled north. Just off the coast of Ernest Morn, there is another smaller island called Ernest Clathoy. Doinwen is thought to have spent the rest of her life on this island. The remains of her convent that she set up here can still be seen today. It is even said that she was buried on Ernest Clathoy after she died in 465 AD. Her resting place became a place of pilgrimage. Visitors travelled from all around because they believed that if you ate the fish from this area, it would foretell whether their relationship would be happy and full of love or not. The celebration of St. Doing Wednesday is growing in popularity. It is celebrated in a similar way to Valentine's Day with gifts and cards. In fact, it's not just an exclusive day for lovers, it's a way of celebrating all manners of love. St. Doing Wednesday is celebrated with lots of sweet treats such as Welsh cakes and Barra Brief. And there we have it, a summary of the legend that is St. Doing Wen. Thank you so much for listening to another story from Tales from Wales and the Great Beyond.